Right guys, so this is going to be the second video we make based around these silver packs. Now if you watched the first video, you'll remember that we basically broke even and made a tiny bit of profit. I looked back at that video and it actually turned out that we made about 2,000 more coins. My math was absolutely terrible. So from the first 10, it proved to be a profitable method. Now we're doing this again just to check if we got lucky with the first 10 or if this is profitable on a regular basis. So the first pack, we do get Super League player. There is a chance he sells. 1,400, 600. So we've got 500 on him. Then we get a League 2 player, annoyingly. So that's 500, 700 from the fitness. And how much were these going for again? Was it 800? There's about 900 on those. So that's 1,600 coins in the first pack. Not bad first pack, but not great. Right, so we move on to the second pack. We're going to need to get another big player in one of these packs. A Toulouse Defender or something like that would be absolutely insane. It's another non-rare though that we get. And if we have a little look here, he's not going to sell. A right winger from the Eredivis might, if we're lucky. He's got 200 bid on one of them. 550 seems to be the cheapest so far. There's a lot of him listed on the market though. 350. He's going to be lucky to sell. We're going to call that 250 for him. We've got this one which puts us at 450. And then we do have a Silver Irish. I wonder if these guys are actually starting to sell yet. No way are they going for this much already. That is ridiculous. We'll call it... Okay, so we'll call it 700 for him. Well, we're being generous, I think, with that. So that gives us 900 plus this guy, about 1,100. We'll call it 1,200 coins. Right, so on to the third pack. We've made a loss in both the first packs. You expect that from this method, though. It's usually the big players that make up your money. We do get a rare. He is from the Mexican League, which is one of the squad builder challenges. Let's see if he sells, though. That's going to be the key point here. He's a centre mid. The cheapest on the market is 7,000 at the moment. 3,800. So I'm going to list him up for 3,600. If he sells, we're going to include him. If not, I'll knock a little bit off it. We've also got a nothing on those two. 3,600. 3,800 with the fitness. And then we've got a Calcio A player. Now, a lot of people are preparing for a squad builder challenge around these already. There's no way he's that much. We're going to call him 800 coins, just because he's good for the current squad builder challenges that are going on. So that gives us about 4,600 coins from that pack, provided that guy sells. Right, so on to pack number four. That last pack looks like it's going to be extremely profitable and really gives me faith in this method again. We don't get a rare player, but if that's League 1, then we've hit a small jackpot. Oh, it's not. It's a Scottish Prem. That's really annoying. We do have a Pro League player and a Scottish League player, though, so we'll check them both. This guy looks like he might be about a 500 coin player. Was the first one 600 or 700? Yeah, so about 600 coins on that guy. Checking the second guy. He might be worth something, actually. Oh, wow. Okay, cool. So we're going to... I'm going to list him for 3,300, and again, we're going to see if he sells. So that could be 3,300 on that guy. Plus the 600, so that's 3,900, 4,100, 4,300 coins. And I've got a feeling these pace cards might sell as well. They do sell for, no way is it that much. We're going to call that one 200 coins, just to be safe. It might actually sell for more though. So that's 4,500 coins from that pack. Right, so on to the fifth pack. This will be the halfway point after this one. And if this pack is half decent, we're actually tracking on profit at the moment. This is absolutely amazing me so far because this could be a new huge money maker if it turns out to be profitable. We've got this guy here. He's got 1,100, 900 is the cheapest. Nine, so 850. So we're going to call him 800. We've got fitness, which puts us at 1,000. I don't think that head healing sell. They don't sell. That leaves us at 1,000 coins on that pack. We'll check the Turkish League dude. I've got a feeling he's not going to sell again. No. He might sell after some realists, but not initially. And we will just check the second league, Bundesliga player. No, again. So a thousand coins on that pack. Right, so five packs in, we've made 12,300 coins. Now we have to remember again, I'm sending a lot of stuff to the club that we could list and would potentially sell for 200 coins after a few realists. But going off the key cards that we know are going to sell, we've broken even so far. So it's proving to be a good method already. Now we move into the last five packs though, and this is where it's all going to be decided. So we get a fitness card for 200 coins. We get a Scottish Premier League card. Let's check this guy out. 
900, 800, 700. Right, so we'll call him 600. That puts us at 800 coins. And we will check this Italian league guy. No way he goes for that much. 600, 500. So we'll call him 500 as well. So that gives us a total of... Oh, God, what was this guy's price? Sorry about this, guys. It was 500 for the last guy, 200 for that one, which puts us at 700, and we called it 600 for him. So that's 1,300 coins. Right, so pack number seven, the last four packs. We need a big player to turn this round. I can't believe that we've opened this week 17 silver packs, and we haven't got a single League One player in them yet. So the first two there probably aren't going to sell. The Russian League guy, this is where our money might lie in this pack. No, 800, 700. So we'll call it 600 for him. One fitness only. So that's 800 coins in that pack. That was really bad. Right, so pack number eight now. We're on to our last three packs. I really just want to pull one guy from League One. <laughs> or an MK Dons player would be fantastic. I can't believe we haven't seen one in all of these packs. We do get a Red Bulls player, which is huge. And we also get someone from the Pro League. So let's check the Pro League striker first. Now, strikers are usually quite common in these leagues, I say, as he's basically extinct on the market. So we're going to call him about 1,300 coins. Then we're going to check this second guy. If this guy sells, we could be in the money here. Wow. 25. So we'll call that 2,400. So that puts us at 3,700. 3,900, 4,100 coins. Now, that was a good pack again. Right, guys, so last two packs now. We're very, very close to the money back kind of mark, but I really want this to be profitable. He looks like he could be a League One player. I have no idea what club it is. Let's have a look to see if he's actually worth anything, though. Please be worth that much. 3,500, 3,300. Okay, so this guy could be worth a small fortune. I'm going to list him up for 3,000, and again, we're going to check if he sells. So that would be 3,200, 3,400, 3,600. Another huge pack. So the last pack, this is what it's all going to come down to. If we have a poor pack here, it's going to be very close. One more good pack, though, and we're going to be in the money. Is that League 1 or is that League 2? This is what it could be decided on. It's a championship. Oh, that's so annoying. We didn't get a single player from League 1. Right, so we do have this guy here, though, who sells for, it's not looking like a lot. We'll call it 800 coins. Might be a bit generous. So that's 800, 1,000, 1,200. The upper body, does this sell? So 1,200 plus 600. So that's 1,800. And a French, too. So 1,800 in the last pack. Let me add up what we got from these, and then we'll see where we are. Right, guys, so just before we get into the figures, as you can see here, all of the players we listed sold really quickly, apart from this right wing guy, who we only listed two minutes ago, to be fair. I got a feeling I might have listed stuff for cheaper than we could have actually got again. But going off just the players we looked at and the consumables we looked at, we made 24,600 coins. That's a 400 coin loss, and that's before we include the discard value of the packs. So the packs discarded for an average 200 coins each again. So that adds another 2,000, which puts us in profit of 1,600 coins. Then we've got everything we sent to our club, some of the stuff will sell, and the players that we probably listed for a little bit cheap. So in total, the second attempt at this pack method, it looks like it really could be profitable in the long run. I genuinely can't believe this, and it's definitely something I'm gonna try out more, and more regularly, more often, get a wider field of figures, and then we can really evaluate if it's constant. But from these 20 packs we're opened, I'm, I'm really surprised and I'm absolutely loving the fact that I was wrong. If you guys are enjoying these kind of videos and you do find them useful and this is the kind of stuff you want to see on the channel, if you could let me know down in the comments, leave a like and if you're new, subscribe, that would be absolutely awesome.